so you know it just it doesn't feel real you know i i see you know the grave and things but it you know she's not there right like she's she's busy doing some other stuff somewhere else <laughs> So when Celeste was diagnosed, we were, she was 14 years old. Before that, two years prior to that, um, Celeste had not, not side effects. She wasn't in pain or anything, but there were certain things that were not normal to me. So I took her to the doctor a few times. Um, they couldn't ever find anything kept insisting uh, she had some ultrasounds done and, and things like that and everything seemed everything seemed to be fine until finally I, I, I was able to get her um, an MRI done and uh, and then that's when you know everything started at the beginning they um, just told us you know she had a mass and they were just gonna remove it and no big deal it was gonna just be a a one-day surgery and then we can take her home after that well um you know the the day surgery turned out to be you know um a cancer diagnosis um but we were able to overcome it and then we thought you know everything was over after her th 10 months of chemo so after that year of remission, um, she was a year and a half in remission, and then we, you know, she was having um, tests done every three months, and uh, and that one time, you know, doctor calls us and tells us the bad news that the cancer was back. She tried to keep positive. She. She never really complained or asked why or anything like that. She was a really uh, brave and wise soul. Like um, she was always trying to look at the positive in things. Uh, always grateful for anything she could, you know. It was. Pretty much her um, teaching us, teaching us life lessons on how to deal with life challenges, and it's it was very humbling <laughs> for us as a family to to be able to have such a soul um, that could just do that. Um, you know, she was our source of strength. Um, I know we were there for her and we did everything we could and we we tried to make her as comfortable as possible um, all the time but at the end of the day I think she taught us more and she did more for us than we can ever have done for her um, she was just special <laughs> I can talk for hours and hours on how child can just was there for us every single step, every single day, every single minute. Like, um, I got introduced to Renee, and the, and she's like, "Here's your parking pass, and here is a gas card, um, you know, for all the running around that you have to do, and all those appointments you guys have." And I was like, "Oh, like, thank you, right?" Like, uh, I was not expecting any of that. And then after that. Obviously, Celeste started losing her hair, and she had this beautiful, long, black hair, curly hair, and she was really sad. So we went to the store across the, the hospital, and I've never looked at wigs, I've never inquired, you know, I've never had a need for it or an idea of what it took. And, and we find this wig that she loved. But we cannot afford. I think I called Renee for something else, and I, it happened. I happened to tell her where we were, and uh, and she's like, "I took in the mirrors. Child can can help with that." And I was like, "What?" <laughs> she's like, "Yeah, just um, tell them to send us the invoice, and child can can um, can provide an amount, a set amount to help with that." 
just a week before Celeste passed away, I just felt like I, I couldn't do it. I just felt that I, I was not going to be able to be there and to be the support that I wanted to be for her. And I went to the park in front of our house and I was just there crying on the phone <laughs> with Renee. And, and she was there and she listened and she's like, doesn't matter what time of the day you need to talk to someone, call me. <laughs> And that, that to me was just incredible, incredible, priceless, it's unbelievable. I would say to whoever's considering to donate, to donate to Chalcan because for sure they are going to be touching the lives of people with real, real needs, real life challenges whatever the amount of money whatever the amount of time of or resources it means like way more for that family that they're helping it's giving a family a little break of things that they don't need to go through like a family going through childhood cancer does not need to be financially strained I said to Renee often, I, it doesn't matter what I do, I, I will never be able to pay back everything that Chalkin has done for me and for my family, ever. It doesn't matter how much money we can raise back for them, how much time I, I give them, I will never be able to repay what they have done for us. <laughs>